So we have already run about the combustion control, boiler combustion control and override control. So if you have not seen these two particular lectures, please um, see in the description box, there is link and you can watch both of these videos. So, uh, and uh, I mean, without knowing what combustion control is and what override control is, it is difficult to understand what is the cross limiting in combustion control because of the obvious reason. Okay, so, so this is So we already know about the, the about the combustion control that takes place in a boiler. So what happens there? There is a airflow control and there is a fuel flow control. And uh, this airflow is getting at, gets adjusted by the amount of oxygen into it because we always want excess oxygen in the furnace so that there is no chance of making of CO carbon monoxide this is as per the environmental regulation right at the same time uh, there is a fuel flow and that is controlled by the fuel flow control valve and both this air flow and fuel flow control valve gets a remote set point from the steam header pressure. So this is a basically boiler master that keeps the firing rate, right? So firing rate depends on the air flow, fuel flow, and the ratio between the air flow and fuel flow. Now what happens is uh, if the amount of fuel is more in the boiler on the or the furnace compared to the air, there is a chance that there will be some unburnt fuel left over in the furnace and it will keep on uh, keep on getting accumulated right and over the period of time this may cause a blast of the boiler so this situation is uh, normally not intended but due to some mistake like operator giving wrong set points or there are some issue in configuration of the loops where there are some certain uh, transmitter readings are beyond uh, beyond the expectation that may result in this kind of situation so even at that situation to avoid the accumulation of fuel in the boiler or the furnace combustion cross limiting is being done so what is being done here is there one high selector is taken and high selector takes input from the both airflow and the fuel flow and whatever is higher that gets fed into the um, air fuel ratio controller on the other hand there is a low selector and low selector takes input from the air flow and whichever is lower between air flow and fuel flow goes into the fuel controller and that regulates the fuel flow So this high selector and low selector both are configured into the DCS to achieve the cross limiting. So what happens is the high selector always allows more air into the uh, furnace and the low selector always allow less fuel into the furnace. So there is no chance of accumulation of fuel. Uh, 